What is in common of all these women for the DVF Award? They have the strength to fight, the courage to survive, and the leadership to inspire. Because it's the same story always. It's women who went through hardship, then they had the courage to survive. And once they survive, they all want to inspire others. Sometimes I wake up in the morning, I feel like a loser. But very soon I get up and I smile at myself and I say, okay, go on. You know, it's the relationship with myself is probably the most precious thing I have. Own yourself. It's all about owning it. Owning your imperfection, owning your age, owning it all, and just be it. I started with prints. I started, my first job was in a print plant. So I learned everything about colors and how you buy an illustration and how you put it in repeat and, and corrosione versus application and all of that. And uh, so print is important to me. We have a huge archive of what, 10, 15,000 prints. And, um, and uh, Morgan has been with me for six years? No, not that long. How long? Is it going to be four years? Okay, four years. Oh, hello, every day. You know, people have a lot of rap stories. Yeah, I know. Anne Hathaway was, was actually conceived in one. Uh, eye contact. Eye contact is what I want every girl to have. You know, the models. For me, it's very important to be strong. And I always say, you know, don't, don't do that. Don't be like a model. Just be like the woman you want to be. So eye contact is important. And then legs, 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 body language. I'm always, I'm always a little intimidated to meet, but what is more interesting is how small I feel after I meet them. And it's not really the big ones. It's, I mean, you know, yes, I was intimidated to, to meet Anita Hill, which I met last summer, and I was a little bit intimidated to ask him, would you accept the award? But more important than how can I be, how can I, I, can, I am intimidated by people who are very famous, like Jane Goodall, and people like that. It's much more interesting to see how humbled I am when I meet those other people that no one knows, who do so, so much work. Uh, Martin Rothblatt. Martin Rothblatt is the highest paid women, woman CEO in America. She founded Sirius. Yes. And she is probably the person, the woman I admire the most. But what, I don't know if you know that, she only became a woman at age 37. She was a man before. And she's still married to the same wife. She has four kids, they have four kids together. Her story is unbelievable. Strength to fight, courage to survive, and leadership to inspire. I mean, that's what it is. It's the strength, the courage, and the leadership. Because once you go over it, then you, you share it. And you are a role model for everybody else. And, and that is probably the most important thing that women should know. I don't know. I don't get excited. No. I mean, I don't know. When do I get excited? I think no. seeing everyone together is exciting, yeah. certainly. I tell you, the highlight of all of the awards ever was last year when uh, I was on one side of the room and on the other side of the room I could see my two granddaughters. 
One was 17 then, one was 18 then. And, and the way they were watching the show with so much interest, I mean, teenage girls, they could be on their phone, right? And that, to see my granddaughters so into what they were listening, that was the biggest reward of 10 years. Well, the most important thing to do, I think, is pay attention. Mm -hmm. Just pay attention. And, and if something shocks you, do something. If you, if you do something, do so, even if you give just a little bit, yeah. it doesn't matter. But the minute you give a little bit, next time you read it in the paper, you will read more. If you do nothing, next time you say, oh, it's too dark, and you pass the page. Do you know? Yeah. So it's about, and know, the most important also, know that if you save one life, you save a dynasty. Yeah. My mother survived. I mean, millions of people died, but she survived. And look at, you know, me, my family, we are a whole dynasty. And I, I kept her alive. She's not going to be in, in the, the documentary of the Statue of Liberty. She's immortalized forever, you know. I think those are the, those are the lessons.